on October 20th workout, I divided uh, my workout into several parts. This video explains what I did on the second part. So the second part will be several chess uh, exercises that I did in each set or group of exercises circuits will be a different set of, of videos. I've decided to put them separately so that one video doesn't have to be too long. So whenever I want to increase my chest press PR, I do this with the new weight. So what I did is, it's pretty much is shift my body to one side of the bench where I have my center line, which is your backbone, you know, pretty much you divide your body in half. Um, I have my center line literally on the edge of the bench. In case uh, you may not know, when you are doing chest press, your rotator cuff muscles are your stabilizer in order for your pectoral, your chest muscle, to do the work. So by shifting my body to the edge of the bench, I eliminate my stabilizer muscle. I only use my core to help me push the... Uh, the weight, the uh, dumbbell. So I allowed it to my arm, my, you know, my potato cough uh, to move freely to help push the weight. The one thing I try to keep firm against the bench is um, pretty much mostly at an incline. But when you're doing out on a flat bench, it's kind of hard to do this. Is a portion of my trap and my infraspinatus, uh, I believe it calls, is part of the, the rotator cuff muscle. To be so, these two muscles, the trap and the infraspinatus muscle, to be firmly against the bench. These two muscles, uh, pretty much, uh, is where the rotator cuff meets your trap. This is my body slightly off not on a straight line, which, you know, at the edge of the uh, bench. So when you do the chest press at an incline, it is easier for you to allow these two muscles to touch the bench because you can lift your butt off the bench. Um, but at the flat bench, you need to keep your core tight. That's a way to prevent you from injuring yourself. So this move, I only do it when I try to increase my PR on chest press. And you have to do each hand individually. And, you know, if you have to hold on to the uh, edge of the bench to allow your body to stay firm, you do that. And uh, you do three sets per arm. Then once you do both arm, when you do both arms together, you'll be surprised to see how easy and light the weight is. So, um, as always, always know your own strength, and if you know you cannot do it, don't even bother doing it, but that works for me, and I felt like I should uh, share it, so if you like it, you know, let, if you tried it, let me know, and let me know how uh, you did, and, uh, and I hope this video helps. So, I'm going to show a portion of that video um, entirely. But check out the second part of uh, my October 20th, 2015 workout to see the whole circuit and how I did this. And I sort of explain how I do my circuits and uh, anyway, it's all over. So please share, like, and subscribe and, uh, and thanks for watching.